sorry for the time. Okay, well, welcome to a special edition of the Mind Reels, a uh, sort of last minute edition, we'll call it. Uh, Tim is at work. I am supposed to be at work. Uh, That's Tim. But we had it. Yes, Tim's invisible. You may not even be able to see him. His chair, even. Um, but uh, we had a rare opportunity to have April Mullen back in the back. Now you haven't been in the studio before. That's true. She's back on the show from our audio days. Uh, so director April Mullen is in town to promote her new film, Badsville, which is opening tomorrow night. This is Thursday already. Um, we have crew and stars of the film. We have Ian McLaren, David J. Phillips, and Benjamin Barrett. Yeah. Writers, producer, director, actors, everything. And... And Pedro. <laughs> Mascot. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> the very common dog. So... That's right, we're going to do a quick little chat about the film, because I actually haven't had a chance to see it, even though you were here with it before. At right? the Canadian Film Festival. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Which, was Which I don't even know how I missed it, because Kevin was all over me for that. But anyhow, <laughs> we'll rectify that situation shortly. Uh, so I guess let's start at the beginning. Why don't you tell us what it's all about? Yeah. These writers. You... Writers? Come on. What are we doing here? Yeah. Um. <laughs> what happened? How did this happen? Uh, well, I don't know, four, four or five years ago, Ian and I were in an acting class in North Hollywood, and uh, uh, there's there was some drama in Ian's life, and uh, to get him off the drama, I said, let's, let's write, write a movie. Let's write a movie, <laughs> and uh, that's kind of how it came about. We, we started writing a short, and halfway through it, we were like, eh, let's write a full length feature. <laughs> <laughs> So we, we studied the the craft of writing and somehow we got it done and Is that yeah. the first time you'd written a, a script before? A film script? Yes. Wow. Yes. First time. First nice. time. It was it was it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard. I know, I did a lot of Googling and wrote my first short <laughs> script oh, really? uh, last year, I think. Oh and, uh, even shorts are hard. Yeah. Like full circle way oh. oh. Where do I have to go with this? Yeah. And there's a big disconnect between what's happening in my head and what happens on the page. I'm like, are you all keeping up? <laughs> like, if somebody else isn't reading it, I don't really know what's coming across. Yeah, it, it, that is like one of the hardest things. It's like, wait, did, did you catch that? Yeah. <laughs> you see what I did there? There's a bunch of nuances there. Did, right. <laughs> did you catch it? <laughs> and I think that's one of the reasons why we chose April is because she caught those nuances of the script. and. Really showed, and we talked to her about it. Yeah. Nice. So you guys, you got sent the script then. then... David uh, Phillips had read the script, and he was attached to produce it, and he's Canadian, and sent it over and said, "Have a read it. I know it's weird, but the writers are first-time writers, and they're also <laughs> want attached as the actors, and it's finance." And I thought, "That's a weird situation that never happens. <laughs> it really doesn't." And I was like, "Let me have a read." And then, I think I called you within like. Very quickly. Hours after yeah. reading it, because I was just like, <laughs> where did they come from? <laughs> Who are, Who are these people? guys? It was like a really fresh, unique kind of voice, and it was really raw, and there was this kind of rockabilly, gangster, but love story in the core of it was so truthful, and it read off the page, like, it was just images in my head, and I couldn't get them out of my mind, and so then we had a meeting, and we are all really on the same page. Nice. Yeah. So yes. how long did that take from, like, I guess from you deciding to do it to actually starting, and then how long did it take to shoot? Oh, it, it was, uh, you guys had written it for a couple of years, I think, before you came to me, right? Yeah. Yeah, it been a couple of years, and then um, I, I knew Ian, and we had some mutual friends, and they, uh, you know, had been producing a bunch of stuff, and so they, uh, they contacted me and I read it and kind of had the same reaction as April. I was like, this is pretty awesome. I don't think we can afford to make what's on the page right now. <laughs> a few tweaks, which we did, but yeah, uh, we didn't really hold back on budgets. Yeah. No budgetary. There was, yeah. a, there was a chicken chase with two cars. It was amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> we tried. That's straight out of focus. But yeah, so, so, you know, we made a few things, but then... Uh, His favorite movie. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, I was on board, like, I, I first read it in December, and I think we shot it back, like, March and April. Uh, so, 
Uh, I, you know, I had it for about a month. We made a few tweaks, and we started looking at directors. And uh, yeah, April came in, and it was just like a perfect fit. We're like, this is awesome. Let's do this. And so uh, yeah, we finally got to work together. We were kind of we're in similar circles, and know some of the same people, obviously. <laughs> Apparently, it's yeah, back from, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So it was kind of cool, yeah, it was, it was great, and so uh, so then we shot that, I guess that would have been two and a half years ago, but it's been about three years since since I was on board. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so it's been, and we shot this in 18 days, okay. uh, which has been crazy, especially with, you know, the amount of uh, stunts and fighting scenes and blood and guns and all that stuff you have to prep for and everything. So it was honestly a huge <laughs> yeah. test since April. So I, was, I was just about to say, yeah. uh, there's no, there wasn't anyone else, you know, we would have wanted to have. And Russ as well, our cinematographer mm -hmm. was just mm -hmm. like, he's an amazing uh, um, steady cam op, so we did a lot of that. And yeah. He was ready to go and his crew was like, it really was a, a very succinct crew led by April, obviously. And, and I worked with Russ on 88 and then oh, Far Hope okay. Tower, Tower, so I was like, so they Russ, I'm in LA, like, yeah. you've got to come over here because we've got an ambitious film <laughs> and I need a shorthand man. <laughs> like, just like our quick yeah. kind of... Uh, so you basically MacGyvered your crew together. And yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I mean, first. Two, two people, two people with, you know, tireless. <laughs> she was so much stamina, I mean, we wouldn't be able to, to do it without someone with so much energy. And that comes through, I mean, I hope. I think yeah. another thing that really uh, came through, and, and April and I were discussing this earlier on, and, and another thing was, uh, it really starts from the top down when you're on these projects, and if the people that are at the top are really invested, uh, then it spreads out to everybody. And with with you guys, because there was just so much heart and so much dedication, mm -hmm. every day on set these guys would be like immersed in their character, but not in an obnoxious way, like right. they just were like really, like given. <laughs> like Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, they, they were like they were they were great, and it, it really was infectious to everyone from from you know our, to our caterer to our PAs. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see people, you know, with so much heart and like always, you know, getting along and, and so dedicated, it, it was yeah. Kind of when it's more than just a job, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and so we've all been on the sets where people like you know you have one person that's just like phoning it in or doesn't yeah. give crap. Then you know, kind of takes away from that. Yeah, apathy does kind of spread. Like, but exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. So it, it, uh, it was good. I think I think uh, the positive energy is kind of what made the experience so memorable for him and I. It's just I don't think I've had that experience. Yeah, I mean, it's also our our child. Yeah. But uh, but I've never had that experience on set before, where everything seemed to flow in this very positive, synergistic way. I guess it's, mm -hmm. there wasn't one person who ruined it for us. Right. Yeah. You know, it, it was. An awesome it experience. A, yeah, it was a small mm -hmm. crew, but a really dedicated. Yeah, yeah. and that's really the only way you can do it for, for a whole budget film. So you have to, mm -hmm. you have to be dedicated, or else mm -hmm. you're just yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't afford to have someone phone in that. <laughs> for sure, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you have any scary stunt mishaps or anything? We like had a that? car accident that yes. happened. Uh, that was I was unintentionally. <laughs> you were in the car. <laughs> yeah. Unintentionally, just a slight bump. It's you know. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, it's crazy. It, it, all it did was in, it informed kind we of just what all we had for the film because you yeah. had these stunt guys who were you know they they go after it and then yeah. yeah. You know, after that, we were like, okay, that's not happening again. Yeah. The rest of the day, we just didn't I think do it. My head hit the concrete a couple times in the fight at one point. Oh, did it? Thing, yeah. But hey, these guys are the they're incredible. <laughs> not only like emotional, grounded actors, they have incredible physicality, and they bring that to the film. And you, it's like next level, sort of when it comes to reality and kind of being gritty and raw and. It's really the fight scenes that I feel are really unpredictable. Normally, like right. in Bond and stuff, it's very formulaic and very stylized, and you know that it's kind of choreographed. And then this film is unpredictable, and things happen, and it just feels really real, like you're yeah. inside of the fight and in a good way. <laughs> you're sweating too by the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um, and you, you, you shot in L.A., locations around L.A.? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Santa Clarita, El Monte, Lake Piru. Um, I might forget anything, probably, yeah. Um, the landscape's Burbank. a stunning film. Yeah, I was going to say, Burbank. it would actually sort of inform the performance as well, if you're like sort of immersed in the, 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 the world is around you, basically. Well, yeah, that, that was kind of like, Badsville's kind of a character within the film itself, and that was something we also talked about, is that it reflecting what's going on in the characters' lives, you know, like, 
dying landscape or yeah. barely alive grass, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, barrenness. Um, yeah, Batsville, the, the town I'm from is actually, they called it Batsville. El Monte is where we shot like a lot of it. And that's where I kind of got the name from. <laughs> and from them calling El Monte Batsville. And we shot a lot of it. Yeah. A good portion of it there. Yeah, we did, yeah. Which was cool for, yeah. Yeah, for everything, too. It doesn't look like that anymore, though. It's, yeah. It's nicer now. <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> yeah, I think they definitely cleaned it up. <laughs> like, we can't leave it like this. Um, yeah, people are filming a movie called Badsville. <laughs> we we have gotta to clean do it something. Up. We gotta do something about this. That's what rock people bottom. Say? <laughs> and then they're gonna be people going there looking for the locations too, and we're like, well, totally. this does not look anything like movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We I thought she did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mm. most of the, out <laughs> the outdoor stuff was in like Pyro. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Pyro, like that's the name. Like Pyro. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what are they going for? <laughs> <I know. here>? oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it definitely wasn't the nicest out either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's right. It was gorgeous though. The yeah. vast sort of. Yeah. It kind of felt empty and lonely. Train like, tracks. In a strong way. Yeah. Curious. Oh, cool. Real. Yeah. That's a good thing too, because then it can just be sort of a timeless thing. Did you set it in a time period? I was gonna, I was gonna chime in after the fact, but mm -hmm. yeah. Well, when we wrote it, we, everything was specific to we wanted it to be period. But then, once you finish the story, and this is how it's gonna be. David mentioned that you work around mm -hmm. what you gotta work around, and then, fortunately, I'm actually glad that we ended up making it timeless. You had to make it timeless in order to take certain avenues that, right. that we had to take. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, and it, it creates control. a unique right. tone and when is it, voice when is it, too. When is it, when is yeah, because the dialogue that you know, there's like daddios and stuff thrown in there, but it's really natural because it's all based in a very like real performance. But yet, the world around it is nothing like ours today. Like, there's no cell phones. It's like rotodoff phones, and they're going out <laughs> bowling on a date. And there's an innocence to their their characters and the love story. And and even even though it's uh, very violent, there's an innocence to their loyalty and the family love that they share, the gang loves, and I think that that has a really unique tone overall for the film. Yeah. Yeah, it would, um, I just lost what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you tell, because uh, I don't think we've really described what it's about, but it is kind of a unique sort of, um, mm -hmm. like I was like, I, the mention of, on, on IMDb, there's a mention of greasers, and I'm like, oh, outsiders. And, then, and I'm like, it's kind of like that, where there's this like tight-knit group of guys. Oh, that's what it is. I think the naivety comes from, like their closed in life. Like they're yeah. they're not of a time anyway either. Mm -hmm. So I think the timelessness and the naivety maybe comes from the fact that like the rest of the outside world doesn't really pertain to their actual lives. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it, 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 we we almost had a conversation about like it being almost like Cuba, how it was kinda of stuck yeah. in a time that hasn't fully moved forward and there's has been advancements but and I think that also uh, adds to the like a lot of the over, like the themes of it, that it is a timeless piece, and so it isn't just a commentary about the '50s or something like right. that. Or we're trying to recreate something. It's like the Badsville could be anywhere, even today. It's just a, a place or a, a mental state where you're stuck in the same, yeah. doing the same thing. Where love world. doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also yeah specific. Yeah, yeah specific to that. It's like we we could have written cops into yeah. it, mm -hmm. but we specifically chose not to because it was just gonna it, it pulls attention away from what we wanted focused on, what right. we wanted to bring to life, so. Yeah. Um, yeah people ask us that like, all the time. Cell phones, specific. No cops. Why are there cops in it? Specific. Mm -hmm. Focus only on what's going on in each person's story. Yeah. Um, and each love story for each Yeah, because anything else would sort of just take away from it or pull you out of the exactly. immediacy yeah. of the right. experience. Mm -hmm. And you also want to have a feeling that these, these gangs, like, it's such an old kind of town and one's so stuck there that you know, the gangs themselves are kind of running it. They're mm -hmm. their own authorities. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't mind what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking when you mentioned cops because there's that whole fiasco with E.T. when they re-released it and the cops were holding flashlights instead of yeah. that. And I was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> did they do that? Yeah. yeah, they did, yeah. They oh like, my gosh. Like, yeah, Child-proofed it, apparently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, um, and it'd be sort of like that, like as soon as you put a cell phone in there, then suddenly it takes you out of the, the yeah. moment where you're like, oh, oh, okay, now I know what time it is. Yeah. And it's like, no, you just 
It was funny because last night someone was talking to me about special effects, like, oh, what special effects? And I was like, the only special effects we used was to take out modern things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was reductive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was just like a car passing by. It's like, ah, it's, the car's 2010 non Civic. Yeah. 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 Get it out. Get it out. Even if it looks like it. Get it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the only special effects we really use. Yeah. We had a great guy. That's true. Too, too we um, did. Um, Again, another another passionate person. Callahan, um, yeah. Yeah. He just was. Callahan did. Yeah. Callahan did everything. We yeah. even turned him. He Callahan did. <laughs> Callahan did. <laughs> 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 what happened to the Honda Civic? He Callahan did. <laughs> Film festivals, the Canadian Film Festival. There was a before. super successful film run. For, mm -hmm. It's been we haven't released because we've been going through a lot of film festivals. It's won a lot of awards. I think yeah, the, the universal appeal to the film is um, your character Wink's character goes through you know the story of hope and trying to break free and grow grow for a younger generation and it's like a heartbreaking, beautiful, touching story that. I think audience members really relate to, and it doesn't matter. Every film festival we go to, it's the film's really touching. It's beautiful, yeah. Which is a complete dichotomy from the title. And <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Amongst the violence and the blood, amongst the violence and the blood, there is like a massive heartbeat to the film, yeah. which. And, and one of the things so that we find is, is also interesting is that you know a lot of these film festivals, you know, ones that are in smaller towns, is a much older audience that comes right. to see it, and so people have even come up and talked about how like they almost left because it was a little bit too much for them, but they were glad they stayed and, and that sort of thing, which has been always like that'd a really be interesting cool too to see what people you know? expect going in yeah. versus what they yeah because when you look at this, you know what I mean? It just looks yeah. like okay, there's going to be greasers and oh, violence to and, like, outsiders. Exactly. Yeah, 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 so yeah. there's some some nice. Because yeah. film festival audiences are particular as compared to like just a public general audience. Exactly. Yes. So they generally know what they want and what they're expecting when they go mm -hmm. in. So I'd, I'd be interested mm -hmm. to do. You almost want to do like an entrance and an exit poll just to yeah, see yeah, what's yeah, happening. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So film festivals have been mostly done. Do you have any more coming up? Or no. We, 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 oh yeah. Two more. Sorry. Actually, we two more. <laughs> April is <laughs> the Women's Film Festival in New York City. I'm doing a panel, yes, in March 8th. That's right. There we go. There go. And then we're like, actually no. at, the, at the Vancouver <laughs> Badass Film Festival. There's a badass There's film festival? There's a badass film festival, so I just I went ahead to submit. It's called the, the Vancouver Seriously? Badass Film Festival. So I was like, okay, Badsville, you know. And so they, they got that too, so they called and they were really excited. That's amazing. And they also do awards there, and we're nominated for eight of them, so that was kind of neat. <laughs> But it sounds like it'll be fun uh, to go to get at that. So and that's in, at the end of February, before the New York uh, Women's. Uh, I was gonna yeah. And then that'll be just it. coast to coast, and then yeah. yeah. I always wanted to ask you too if you felt um, going into the film a lot of pressure, knowing that you were the leads carrying the film. Yeah, you I, was, know. I was scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I always thought I always felt comfortable. I was always like, "Yep, they're totally leading men." You know, you know, in your gut, you're like. They have everything going for them, but I always wondered, like personally, if you guys felt ready and or in you know to carry it. In I feature. felt ready. I absolutely felt ready, but it's it's you know being my, my first project. One bottom li bottom line to answer you in the sense it's like I trusted you, and if that's not there, then yeah, you're gonna second guess it. But it was like, I was ready. Let's well, get scared good. to death. Let's do it. <laughs> Were you then ready to sit down and watch it with an audience? No. Uh, <laughs> it's it's still not. No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm you probably thinking scared about to death the whole time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I sat them down. I'm like, okay, there's this thing, guys. It's called movie magic. And once the momentum starts, yeah. you don't know what's gonna happen. Like it's mm. unpredictable. Sometimes. The craziest things happen. Fog happens. Fires happen. I don't know. Like the <laughs> car accidents. Car accidents yeah. happen. Car accidents or happen. you know, the most outrageous things happen. But movie magic takes over, and it's always right in the end. The right things happen somehow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's like a nice touchstone to have. <laughs> Just to believe that everything will. But it does. Eventually, yeah. you'll have a film, and it's playing. So there you go. It's playing Friday. And night. it's playing <laughs> Friday night. So I'm gonna try and post this tonight. So it'll be tomorrow if you're watching it on time. Otherwise, it'll be tonight. Or whatever. 
Um, so January 26. What's happening? You guys are doing Q and A's Friday night and Saturday night and sure. Saturday matinee. Yeah, and our Saturday. And Saturday night. So we're at four o'clock and at nine o'clock every day of the week. At the Carlton. At the Carlton. And uh, yeah, we're going to be there for the Friday night nine o'clock and the Saturday four and nine. Uh, doing Q and A after, and then after the Friday and Saturday, we're going to have an after party. Uh, so hey, come on out. <laughs> and then we're on VOD, any digital platform, and oh, iTunes sweet. on February, February 6th. 6th. Yeah, February 6th. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So is it in the theater then to at least Thursday? Yep. Like it's playing all week yeah. and then? Yeah. And then, and then it might, you know, it, you know, depending on how things go. If they if, pick up. It, yeah. It, yeah, if, if they don't have other things coming in, we might get you know, an extension or whatever. But yeah. All right. Yeah. Alright, so there you go, Batsville, guys. <laughs> check it out. Any way you can, every way you can, spread the word. Even if you can't check it out right away, spread the word, and then other people can check it out, you can check it out when you have time. It's yeah. the first time in Canada, and you know, we want to make sure they have a good audience. You know, like, you want, if, say, if you're sick with <laughs> like big blockbuster films and you want something truly independent with a lot of love, passion, and you know, these guys making their dreams come true, that stuff, when I see it on the screen, I don't forget it. So come and join us. <laughs> if you don't oh, like it, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for coming Thank in. You. I'm sorry we started late. It's no, right. okay. Very cool. I apologize to my co worker, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>